Okay, I kind of have my first full and proper go on the Procyon Mind Machine and pretty interesting experience because there is color change which happens during the experience itself and when you're going through a meditation all of a sudden the, the color of the flashing lights over your eyes changes it has like a boom, you know, like quite a fireworks mind opening experience you know, it's like a... <gasps> it, it feels weird but it's, it, it's wonderful, optically it's amazing and there's all kinds of dancing effects which happen in front of your eyes and it's been created so that you can have different brainwave frequencies working on the three colors so the green one can have one frequency, uh, the blue one can have another frequency, and the red one can have another frequency. Also through the headphones on the presets um, programs, there's a combination of binaural as well as monaurals. So essentially it, it could well be in training on five different frequencies at once, possibly more, depending upon the combination of audio frequencies. Now, I've had someone make a comment as to what is the benefit of complexity there. Well, that depends upon what you're trying to entrain for. Naturally, every single frequency has its own different properties, and sometimes you need to have more than one to be able to create the right variety of effect that you're looking for. And so it's a, it's a cocktail that's designed to have an effect. Sometimes it's a question of um, you know having harmonic resonance between different groups. So some frequencies get even bigger. Okay, some amplitudes of frequencies get even bigger. And it depends upon what you needed at the time. So it can be a good thing. There are uh, some protocols which are, I think it comes from a, a, a theory called an awakened mind theory. And the idea is that you would train for nearly the whole spectrum of all your brain waves because it just increases the amplitude of all of them, basically having the same effects upon your brain as um, a workout for your body. Okay, it, tra it trains you to be able to reach more and more brainwave frequencies like ones you don't normally touch in your day-to-day -day life. Some other theorists suggest that brainwave frequencies are like vitamins and minerals. You have to have a fair balance of them in order to be healthy both mentally and physically. Okay, are you with me? So, the more you can use entrainment creatively, the more you can use it for your own benefit. If you've got a, a very mundane routine of work, you may end up getting a bit trance-like because of it, and therefore you may need more stimulated brainwave frequencies so that you can actually enjoy life when you're out and about with people. Um, and all kinds of other, you know, it's a way of finding your own homeostasis, your own balance and equilibrium, if it's used in that particular way. Sometimes you may just want to entrain on specific frequencies, and sometimes you may want to have complexities, depending upon what you're trying to achieve. Learning brainwave entrainments is not something that you take on lightly. It isn't just um, a gimmicky toy. It's something which, you, you know, you, you incorporate into your life and it can have more far-reaching effects depending upon how you choose to use it and you've got to think about your plan for it and just like you might want to do a, um, a plan for a month's worth of yoga you could have a plan for a month's worth of mind machine usage choosing which days to do it how long to do it for and um, what types of frequencies and entrainment protocols you wish to be able to use so it's not necessarily something that can be prescribed for somebody else, but it's something which can be suggested based upon what you've experienced. And you can just talk about this with other people and share about it with other people. And sometimes even try and have a group experience so that everyone goes through the same brainwave frequencies. Uh, and that's the kind of thing that you might go for, for let's say a telepathy experiment maybe, or just uh, like a gestalt entity kind of like experiment, you know, hypothetically. Okay, so there's a bit of feedback as to why I'm so excited and so buzzed about this one particular mind machine. I've got to get my head around the software and just create myself some programs and play with it. The one I played with earlier on, that was a stimulation frequency, so I've just been out with a few friends and basically I was just a, a little buzzier. But if you've been off in treatment for a while, it can take a few days for your brain to get back used to the idea that, hey, you know, this, this sound and these lights, these are the things you've got to trust and get used to. And sometimes you can feel a little, little uncomfortable with some particular entrainment protocols. That's because your brain has not actually got used to going into those frequencies and your brain is trying to intellectually adjust to it and new brain waves, sorry, um, brain connections are being created to allow yourself to work with the entrainment protocol.
that's basically what's really going on there. You know, your brain is learning how to use the entrainment. It's all wonderful sci-fi stuff, but, you know, if you can, um, and if it's your sort of thing, and you don't have migraine or epilepsy or any of those other nasty complaints, then look into entrainment, do a bit of research. You don't have to do it quickly. There's no rush. But it can be something useful, which you can seriously incorporate into your life and have fun with. That's my views for today.